Hey guys, in this video we are going to be checking out the website slash search engine start page and we'll be comparing it to DuckDuckGo, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so we have start page loaded up and you may be wondering, if you don't already know, what's the big deal about start page? Well, start page is a privacy oriented search engine, kind of like DuckDuckGo and that's why we'll be comparing it later, but they do not collect or sell your search history. Um, no third-party ad trackers or cookies, and search and browse anonymously. Don't be tracked online. Protect your personal data. They have an extension you can get, but here is some details about them. The internet without tracking, a safer way to search and browse online without personal data collection, tracking, or targeting. The world's most private search engine, according to them. They have a search engine with anonymous view feature, and here's where it talks a bit more about their features. Encrypted connection. Your IP address is removed from all of our global premise servers. They block price trackers by preventing third parties from setting price trackers on you. Avoid retargeted ads because they block third parties from accessing your personal data to target you. You can browse anonymously because they mask your identity while browsing other websites, which is pretty cool. You can receive unprofiled news, so basically access news that's not based on your browsing behavior, which is pretty cool. Prevent online profiling, which means we don't create personal data profiles based on your internet activities. So that is their major features right here. Most people haven't heard about them too much, but they are featured by some big websites, New York Times, Bloomberg, TechRadar, and more. Up here they have a Privacy Please button. You can learn more about how StartPage protects your personal data. You can read their blog. And over here we have the three lines which give us information about StartPage, their privacy policy, their blog, press, support, settings, images, imprint, and their other service, StartMail, which is a privacy-oriented mail service. But anyway, let's take a quick look at settings to see what's on and what's not and what we can change. So we can change language stuff, region filters, um, open search in a new tab, search suggestions. You can turn on or off instant answers, which instant answers are great. You can change the theme. You can turn off promotional messaging. Results per page, you can change that. You can change unit of temperature and your time and date format. And then there's more privacy and safety information like a family filter or adult content filter or sexual content filter. You can change the HTTP request method. You can have it show safety suggestions and you can change the server settings. So anyway, that was pretty straightforward. But for the biggest and most important part, let's search some stuff. So. What I'm going to do is search for my YouTube channel, Tech Particle, and then I'm going to search a question, and then I'm going to search for a tool, like a calculator or something like that. So let's begin. And so far, pretty clean look. They have information about particle technology over here, um, a promotional for start page and their extension, um, the various filters up here, web, images, videos, and news, no shopping or maps like you would see in Bing or Google and stuff like that which is interesting. You can access settings here and of course there's the buttons up here but the search results they're pretty basic looking just a list of various websites no ads on this page there's no pictures or icons for the websites which is disappointing in my opinion obviously I don't expect to get pictures with every result but like some logos of the websites are nice it just looks a little bland let's head over to images and see what it pulls up so the images view is pretty sweet. There's the filters up here and it looks like you're looking at a gallery or something like that and not search results. They're just a clean look, close together, clean, simple, minimalistic. Head over to videos to see what that looks like. And over here it kind of looks like a YouTube search result page almost. You get a thumbnail, you get the title, and you get some description. So that is nice. Let's head over to news and you get the title, some description, pictures occasionally. So. That's fine with me, pretty good. So that was the first search. Let's actually ask a question. So I'm gonna search how to, and see what comes up. How to buy a friend, how to be 30, how to be single. Let's search how to be single, see what comes up. And it actually is an American film, so that explains it. But we get some information over here. We get this promotional for start page again. And you get the search results. Kind of boring, but they're simple, clean, and minimalistic. It probably comes down to personal preference. Doesn't give a ton of information though, like some more pictures might be nice and website icons and some more description, but I'm not going to go to images, video, and news again because we already know what that looks like, but that was for a question. Let's try another question. How many inches in a yard? 
And there's not an instant answer, which is kind of surprising. There's just a few ads at the top and some search results. That's kind of disappointing. Now for the third search, let's search for a tool. And I'm going to be searching for a calculator. There's a few ads, but then they give you a calculator. So the search results were pretty good with StartPage. I was disappointed that there weren't more pictures or graphics. It may come down to personal preference, but I think those would be helpful in the future. Also, I was disappointed with not getting an answer to how many inches in a yard. Like, that's a pretty basic question, and nowadays I think they would be able to answer that pretty fast and easily. So I was disappointed by that. But I was glad with how they showed the pictures and the videos. That was great. So overall, Start Page is a great search engine. They have an add-on as well that you can get that makes your browser have start page as its default search engine so like you go to the search bar it will make start page its default and for one of the most important features of start page the one that makes them stand out from any other search engine is their anonymous view feature so this is available in the search results page it actually protects you when you go on other websites so if you see this icon anonymous view you can click it and it will take you to the website they will keep you from being tracked and such so that is a pretty, pretty cool feature. Down here you can view information and learn more about Anonymous View by StartPage. And what it is, it lets anyone access and explore websites without leaving a trace. So great, great feature. This is what makes them contenders with other search engines that makes them stand out. You can visit the original website and view the page pretty normally. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome. Like I said, it is this icon It looks like a mask. And you'll want to click that for the anonymous view because if you just click a website normally, it will just bring up Wikipedia. And as you can see, this is Wikipedia. It has their logo. This is Start Page. And this is the anonymous view version of Wikipedia. And you can see it's Start Page's logo. So that is what determines the two apart. So great feature. Definitely would recommend it. So Start Page overall is a great search engine as we saw. That is a great feature that they have anonymous view. It's nice to know that you don't have to worry about some ad tracker tracking you around after you visit a website just once to buy a bike or whatever. You don't want to see bike ads necessarily popping up all around the web. So that is awesome. They can leave you unidentified going to other websites. So we saw that Start Page is a great search engine with many features, great privacy features and some good appearance let's head over to DuckDuckGo and to see why are they different and how are they different so here's DuckDuckGo they have similar stuff as start page they have privacy icon like they did at start page up here you can view their socials you can view various things about them settings and more their look is different they have their mascot the duck but obviously most importantly privacy is a big feature over here we don't store your personal information ever just like start page we don't follow you around with ads and that is basically like start page as well we don't track you in or out of private browsing mode which is like start page and that is it you can dismiss forever so those are some basic features of DuckDuckGo comparable to start page they don't go into much detail and I think start page has more features in that regard they do also have an add-on though which doubles the amount of stuff DuckDuckGo can do they grade websites based on their privacy you can see whether it has encrypted connection trackers, good privacy practices, and you can view various information. You can search DuckDuckGo from here, and it makes your browser have DuckDuckGo as its default search engine, and you can access settings here, but it also keeps you safe across the web. Their add-on forces websites when possible to have an encrypted protection, so when you're across the web, it tries to keep you safe, similar to StartPage's anonymous view, but not quite the same. They also block trackers on other websites you visit with this extension, so very cool. Not quite the same as Start Page. Start Page doesn't block trackers and encrypt connection across the web wherever you go. But if you use Anonymous View, it keeps you unidentified. So both DuckDuckGo and Start Page have features that are similar to each other, but with DuckDuckGo, you need an add-on to be safe on other websites. Whereas with Start Page, you can use their Anonymous View feature. But with DuckDuckGo, their add-on is available wherever you go, whereas Anonymous view, you have to access it through a search result, but with DuckDuckGo's add-on, you're not always able to encrypt the website's connections. So basically, there are pros and cons, and both aren't perfect, but both do a great job of protecting your privacy. Now, it's time to take a look at DuckDuckGo's search results, and we'll do the same as we did with StartPage. 
And here we go. It has this promotional thing about the DuckDuckGo extension. It comes up with results. And there are website icons, which is nice. They have an instant answer over here. Let's take a look at images. It's more cluttered, but it does give you more information at a glance. There's more filters as well. But personal preference, once again, videos. So here are the video results. They come in a tile format, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like the list view. That's my personal preference. It looks better. They give you more information. Maybe not as many videos at once, but they give you the thumbnail, the description, and the title. Whereas this just gives you the thumbnail and a title. Over at news, they have some pictures and some description and titles. They have maps, which is not always applicable, and they have shopping, which is not always as applicable as well. One thing to note, which start page doesn't do, is when you've loaded one page, it saves it. So for example, I head over to images, they're instantly there. I head over to web, instantly there, images, instantly there, etc. Whereas with start page, you click one, it has to load, you click back, it has to load and so forth, which is disappointing. Now time for a question. How many inches in a yard? And they have an instant answer via a converter, pretty cool. Whereas start page did not provide us with that, which is disappointing. So that is awesome that DuckDuckGo did that. Now let's search for something else. Calculator like we did with start page. And here we have a calculator just like start page did. So that is great. So search results are provided by Bing with DuckDuckGo and start page, they're provided by Google. There isn't really a clear winner in the start page versus the DuckDuckGo experience. There are pros and cons for both. There are differences in appearance for both. There are differences in features for both. There are differences in how well they worked for both. So it's not an easy answer. It will come down to personal preference like I've said many times throughout this video, the look, features, etc. The anonymous view feature is a big decider in which search engine you should use in my opinion. Also the extension that DuckDuckGo provides is a big decider as well. With that being said, as far as privacy, if you're just using the search engine, start page is more privacy oriented, I would say based on what I've seen. If you use the extension, it looks like DuckDuckGo might get the upper hand or be similar to start page. So it comes down to personal preference and what you want to use. Overall, I would recommend both search engines. They're both great. Personal preference plays a lot into your decision on whether which one you should use. That was a long detailed video, but I hope it was helpful to you. If you guys like this shirt, it says Jesus Loves You, go check out the website jesuslovesyou.company and use the code TORNADO7 for a 15% discount. They have a lot of cool merchandise, shirts, t-shirts, um, hoodies, hats, and more. And if you decide to get anything, you'll be supporting me, you'll be supporting the companies, you'll be looking great, and you'll be witnessing. So, anyway guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment any questions you have, and subscribe if you want more helpful content like this. Thanks guys. Goodbye.